Hello guys, in this video we're going to be talking about the differences between the Bible and the Quran. So the difference between the Bible and the Quran. So the first thing we have, in the Bible all Christians are monotheistic Trinitarians. So all Christians truly believe that there's only one God and then the one God that exists is three different people. So three different people which constitute one being so in the quran we have the it's a completely monotheistic according to islam and uh, it denies the trinity quran chapter 5 verse 73 chapter 112 verse 1 to 4 and then denies the trinity chapter 5 verse 73 so that is the reference for that meanwhile i can just easily say that the quran concludes is saying there are this passage is saying that it is monotheistic but we have Allah, which is uncreated, the Word of God, which is uncreated, the Spirit of God, which is uncreated. So, I just leave it for you guys to think about it. Jesus was crucified according to 1 Peter 2, 24. And then the, the, the Muslim, they say Jesus is not God, is not crucified. Meanwhile, even in the Bible, it says Jesus is God in the flesh. Colossians chapter 2, verse 9. The Muslim, they say Jesus is not God, chapter 5, verse 17, and then chapter 5, verse 75. And then we have Jesus rose from the dead. We have John, chapter 2, verse 19, and so many other passages. Jesus did not rise from the dead. From the dead, Jesus did not rise from the dead. And then we, he was not even crucified, chapter 4, verse 157. Jesus was the Son and is the Son of God, Mark, chapter 1, verse 1. And then um, we have that Jesus was not the Son of God, chapter 9, verse 13. Jesus is actually the third person in the Godhead. He will bear witness, uh, he will bear the witness of this. And then we have John chapter 14, verse 26. John chapter 14, verse 26. And then the Holy Spirit is the angel Gabriel, chapter 2, verse 97, and chapter 16, verse 102. Salvation. By grace through faith. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1 verse 8 and 9. And then in Islam we have salvation by sincerity and works. Chapter 3 verse 135. Chapter 7 verse 9 to 8 to 9. Chapter 21 verse 47. Chapter 49 verse 14. Chapter 66 verse 8 to 9. The devil is a fallen angel according to the Bible. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 12 to 15 uh, the devil the devil Satan is not a fallen angel but a fallen jinn chapter 2 verse 34 chapter 7 verse 12 chapter 15 verse 27 chapter 5 55 verse 15 according to the bible man is fallen and is a sinner Romans chapter 3 verse 23 For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God uh, uh, Romans chapter nine, chapter 3 verse 23 Man is basically a good person according to Islam According to the Quran So uh, worship on Exodus uh, These disciples are called Christians Where Christians Acts chapter 11 verse This disciples declare themselves Muslims Chapter Chapter uh, 5, verse 101, verse 111. Worship on Sabbath, Exodus chapter 20, then later on Sunday, Romans chapter 14, verse 5. Worship on Friday, chapter, according to Islam, worship on Friday, chapter 62, verse 9. Next thing, guys, these are some few differences about the Islam and the Quran, Islam and the, and, and the Bible. Obviously, if you're watching this, it means you were trying to understand if the God of Islam and the God of Christianity are the same. Obviously, they are different people because there cannot be so much difference between the two gods and the two people, two beings. And at the, same, at the end of the day, we believe that they are coming from the same person. Next thing. These are some few things that are actually according to Islam here. And if you go quick, quick, quick research online on Google and just type the Ten Commandments, you will see that the Ten Commandments are 100% different from the Sharia law. This is the law that governs the way the Muslim think, the way the Muslim behave in public, in private, or even in their belief, in their minds. It's called the Sharia law. And uh, the Ten Commandments is actually one of the things, is the main is the things that we use to 
which we see follow up to today uh, by nature because our nature has changed we are no longer uh made of flesh we are now we are now born of the spirit of god we are born again christians and so we follow these things naturally follow the ten commandment naturally by character according to the word of god and this is what the muslims they follow according to what is written the sharia law and i'm pretty sure not all muslims are going to agree with me that this is what they worship this is what they follow but this is what they follow criticizing is muhammad is punishable by death denying any part of the quran is punishable by death so if any muslim is just standing here and just saying here yeah, i don't agree with what you have written the criticizing or denying any part of the quran you have to be slaughtered because of that and then any stealing is punishable by amputation of the hands and so on and so forth it's long it's long it's long and it's just 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 few of it so if you don't believe in the in this as the sharia law if you don't believe in the sharia law get away from islam sunday alive to jesus christ is the way the truth and life no one goes to the father except through him give your life to christ